We are given the following function values and asked to answer the following questions. First, we are given k of x equals negative eight f of x plus 13 g of x, and we're asked to determine k prime of 20. k prime of x is equal to the derivative of negative eight f of x, which is equal to negative eight times f prime of x, and then plus the derivative of 13 g of x, which is equal to 13 times g prime of x. And therefore, k prime of 20 is equal to negative eight times f prime of 20 plus 13 times g prime of 20. And since f prime of 20 is equal to 17 and g prime of 20 is equal to negative 11, k prime of 20 is equal to negative eight times 17 plus 13 times negative 11. Simplifying, we have k prime of 20 is equal to negative 136 plus negative 143, which is equal to negative 279. For part b, we are given k of x equals f of x times g of x. Here to find k prime of x, we need to apply the product rule of differentiation shown here on the right where now k prime of x is equal to the first function of f of x times the derivative of the second function, which is g prime of x, and then we have plus the second function, or g of x, times the derivative of the first function, which is f prime of x. And therefore, k prime of 20 now is equal to f of 20 times g prime of 20 plus g of 20 times f prime of 20. And we are given all of these function values. k prime of 20 is equal to f of 20, which is equal to 11, times g prime of 20, which is equal to negative 11, plus g of 20, which is equal to negative 18, times f prime of 20, times f prime of 20, which is equal to 17. Again, simplifying, we have k prime of 20 equals negative 121 plus negative 306, which is equal to negative 427. And then for part C, we have k of x equals f of x divided by g of x. So because k of x is a quotient, we need to apply the quotient rule of differentiation shown here on the right. So now k prime of x is equal to, let's start with the denominator, where the denominator is the denominator squared, which gives us the square root of g of x. And the numerator is the denominator of g of x times the derivative of the numerator, which is f prime of x, minus the numerator of f of x, times the derivative of the denominator, which is g prime of x. And therefore, k prime of 20 is equal to, in the numerator we have g of 20 times f prime of 20 minus f of 20 times g prime of 20, all divided by the square of g of 20. And again, we have all these function values. g of 20 is equal to negative 18 times f prime of 20 is equal to 17 minus f of 20, which is 11, times g prime of 20, which is equal to negative 11. And this is all divided by the square of g of 20. And since g of 20 is equal to negative 18, we have the square of negative 18 in the denominator. Simplifying, we have negative 306 plus 121, all divided by 324, which simplifies to negative 185 divided by 324. I hope you found this helpful.